Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah, and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You're a real one. Okay, I need to say one please. I'm getting to cheer happy. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a QA slash live update. A lot has been happening with me this year so far has been crazy. And I actually haven't sat down to like talk to you guys since this year started. I plan to do like a 2021 goals and all of that video, but then I didn't get to film that video because this year has been a lot for me. I said it in my previous vlog. So yeah, I just said to do a live update and sometime last month I put up a question box and I told you guys to ask me questions and I got quite a number of questions. So, so yeah, I'm just going to answer a couple of your questions. I don't know if I can answer all of them. But then I'll answer as many as I can and then just give you guys an update on what has been going on with me, what has been happening, and yeah. So the first question is, how did you and Nano meet? I don't know if I want to <laughs> give a story time on how we met, but then basically we met through my cousin. And yeah, if I start telling you guys stories, it's going to be very long. We met when we were in school. What made you confident enough to flaunt your boo? Hmm. I don't think I flaunt my boo like that, to be honest. I don't think. And I don't know. My relationship was kind of public even before like um, my channel blew up or I gained a lot of followers and all of that. So I just felt like everybody already knows who your boyfriend is. So what's the point of like hiding it, you guess? That is why I just never see the need to like hide him or show all his hand or whatever but to be honest i don't think i flaunt my boo like that my boyfriend like that i don't think i post him up and down everywhere like that except the only place I, i'll say i post him up and down is like my snapchat private story <laughs> those are the people that will say they're probably tired of seeing me and my boyfriend so yeah <laughs> when i went back to china i really miss your china vlogs to be honest i personally miss my china vlogs too i've been missing china so much of late like it's so bad that I dream about China. Like that's how bad I've been missing China. But when am I going back to China? I don't know yet. Somebody also asked what's up with school. Yeah, I may or may not be a student right now. Mm. School is not everything. Yeah. But okay, for everybody that came back from China, everybody that got that left China to go to their country nobody has gone back at least if you're on a student visa nobody has gone back we're not allowed to go back china is not allowing students to go back i'm sure you've seen people that come from like us uk canada they've all gone back to their gone back to school but then we are just not allowed to go back so nobody is actually allowed to go back right now we don't know when we heard that it's probably going to be next year and uh, next year is the year that i'm supposed to be graduating so I don't know about that now honestly i can't give you guys an update because nobody knows what is up nobody knows when anybody's going back or anything when i come into sa i would love to accommodate you oh my god this is one of the sweetest comments i've gotten today if you guys don't know south africa is a country i really 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 want to visit and that's that's actually like a country i would love to live in i've been saying this thing like for the longest i i think after china which that one came true, thank God. South Africa is like the next country I would love to live in. Before my dad passed away, let me tell you guys the mini story. Before my dad passed away, he promised me that I wasn't going to, um, I wasn't going to do my secondary school in Nigeria. He told me that I was going to do my secondary school in South Africa because my dad was a pilot, so like he used to tell me um, about all the countries he has visited because he visited a lot of countries because he was an international pilot and then he used to go to a lot of countries and then he always used to say that South Africa was like the favorite the best African country that he visited and then he said that I was going to school there so I was so anxious to go there and ever since then I didn't I didn't do high, I didn't go to high school in South Africa long story short because my dad passed away and here yeah. um, but yeah that's just a country I would love to visit I'm probably leaving one day maybe I don't know. I want to travel the world. I want to visit so many countries. So I might not even settle there. But maybe I would, I would love to live there for a while. Maybe some months. Any updates about your business that will help follow us source products from China? I have a bunch of videos. I have a playlist actually. And the title of that playlist is Becoming Your Own Boss. So just watch that video. And I'm sure to help you a lot. Yeah. 
how much did you charge for ads when you started your youtube channel there's always like a contract or something that you sign when you're working with brands so you're not really allowed to like say how much it is aside makeup content what other kind of content does well on your channel to be honest makeup content doesn't even do well on my channel if we're going to be honest i feel like the content that does the most well on my channel are vlogs and videos where i'm talking to you guys about relatable stuff yeah what do you use to make your videos i use a canon t7i is that what my camera is called yeah i use a canon t7i and the 50 mm lens are you going to china after the pandemic i want to go back to china after the pandemic i really want to go back to china i miss china so much but then as of right now i can't say if i'm going back to china i don't know there may or may not be a possibility you know this kind of thing that you say oh yes i'm going back or hopefully i'll go back at this point i don't know and i feel like i've settled in nigeria or rather i've adjusted so well in nigeria thank god but then like there are sometimes like many many things making you feel oh my god like i just want to leave this country i can't wait to leave this country how many weeks do you own i really don't know how many weeks i own i won't even try to count i don't know how old is your boyfriend girl <laughs> not a question but please upload more business vlogs they are inspiring thank you so much and i'll come and i'll continue to upload more business vlogs as time goes on thank you i i still going back to school in china how is school i still going back to china mm, guys i don't know how is school am i a student that's the real question <laughs> are you still continuing your studies in china i don't know like I don't, i'm still getting a lot of china questions and to be honest i don't know if i'm going back to china i don't know if i'm still a student i don't know i, I really don't know I, don't, I love you i love you too are you open to meeting new people and making new friends yes i am that was one of my goals last year to make new friends and that did not go out well to be honest i feel like it was because we we're in a pandemic and if you guys don't know i'm a very very shy person and sometimes it pisses me off so much if you have met me in person you probably know like you guys see me talking normally confidently so people ask me how i'm confident this is not how i am like every time this is something i'm personally i'm working on very well every time i meet somebody or a subscriber or something i become like a mumu and i'm just so shy and many person goes i'm just like sarah what's wrong with you i feel like if you're a shy person you can probably relate i just i just don't know what i'm doing again i can't i can't even look at like i literally cannot look at somebody into their eyes and talk to them I can't except for like extremely close you know i can't look at, i can't i melt then i think this is something i've worked on so well it was bad before but then now i think i've worked on it so well and hopefully this year i become more extroverted i start going out more and talking to people meeting people more and yeah and i hope that coronavirus goes this year so that there'll be more events because if there are more events it'll make me go out more and if i go out more i'll meet more people so yeah so i'm just going to answer the questions and then after that like we'll go to the proper life updates on what has been going on with me when is Kiala beauty opening for the year Kiala beauty was supposed to open for the year um yesterday but then i'm going to say that in the life update part i had a delay in my shipment and yeah summarize your last year in three words yo i'm, I'm so grateful for how last year was i'll say it was successful growth and successful growth and change there was a lot of change change growth and success what inspires you the most honestly seeing that i'll say where where i want to be inspires me if that's how to put it okay just seeing that where i am right now in my life is where i was where i wanted to be in the past like i was looking to be in this place or I was hoping I'll have some things that I have now in the past. It's like my biggest inspiration. Just seeing that most of the things I have now or the opportunities I have now or where I am now, I wished to have them in the past. It's like it's like my it's the biggest inspiration. Yeah, I don't know how to put it. How much was the bone straight in the video you made? I said it's in the video. So I'm seeing a lot of questions and all these questions, all these other questions I'm seeing are going to lead back to like what I want to talk about in my life update. So I'm just going to talk to you guys now and yeah. I feel like a lot has happened, a lot has changed and I feel like I'm in an entirely new and different place. 
so i just thought it would be nice to make a live update yeah 2020 2020 was like a good year for me 2020 was my best year yet and i, I know that 2021 is going to be better 2021 is going to be better than how 2020 was by god's grace amen today which is the 12th of february is exactly a year since i got back from china and it's crazy how fast the time flies like it's crazy that it has already been a year i left china on the 10th of february and i got to nigeria on the 12th of february so it was a long journey but yeah so when i was coming back to china when i was coming back from china to nigeria guys i was so sad it literally took a lot of convincing from my boyfriend for me to come back and that was because he was leaving we we're stuck together um during the pandemic at that time so like he was leaving his family wanted him back to nigeria because of the pandemic so there was no way i was going to stay alone because it wasn't like i had access to go and see anybody everybody was on lockdown so yeah i wasn't we weren't even allowed to like go to other people's estates so it was going to be crazy long story short i came back it was almost i was so scared to come back because it was like what is here for me and i feel like that's how a lot of people that are abroad see nigeria and it's almost like once you've tasted i don't know if to say it's tasted abroad life like leave not just visiting i'm not talking about visiting for two weeks talking about if you lived there for a while well depending on the country you go to you wouldn't want to come back to nigeria honestly because like the things that you're working your ass off for are like basic things that the government provides for you do you understand like they are basic things that the government provides for you so you see that all those thoughts mixed together was just like i don't want to come back like what am i coming back to do but i just thank god that like things really took off for me i feel like i was just blessed because things my life literally took like a 180 I'm just grateful to god for how far i was i went last year or i started my brand i started two businesses last year i gained over twenty-five thousand subscribers last year which i'm grateful for and hopefully we surpass that this year so i've been getting questions are you going back to china are you going back to china well for now i don't know if i'm going back to china yet because everybody that came back from to their country from china nobody has gone back at least if you're on a student visa Nobody has gone back because we're not allowed to go back. We're not allowed to go back yet. So those that are schooling are schooling online. And yeah, I feel like I don't know if people, I know that people are allowed to leave, but they're not allowed to enter China. At least if you're on a student visa, I don't know about anybody else. So honestly, I miss China so much. I miss China so, so much. I haven't, like this period, I've just missed China the most. I haven't missed China the as much as I have missed China this period and it's crazy. 2021 so far, I, to be honest, I won't say it has been good. Okay, good thing that's happened to me is that I got my biggest sponsorship like from a brand and to be honest, this that was like the easiest job I did. Like this is like the easiest job I've done but then I got paid the highest goal. That's just a sign because I, I changed my rate card this year. I changed my race card, like I upped my prices, like double my prices, <laughs> and like two brands agreed to my prices. The brand I'm talking about is not Nigerian, cause I don't know. Yeah. This year so far, um, one of my goals for this year was to lose weight. So far, I have lost about five kgs, which is great. And to be honest, I wasn't even really trying hard. Like, okay, let me tell you guys what happened. Let me be honest to you guys. Okay, this year, I don't know if you guys do it, but then in my church, something we do is we fast at the beginning of the year. I don't know if it's called Daniel's fast or David's fast. I can't remember. But then it's just like an annual fast that people do every year. And I took part in this fast. I always take part in this, but then I always stop after like one week <laughs> or like after two days. But this time I did it from the beginning to the end. And you can pick whatever time you want to fast. I peaked from 6 to 6. To be honest, I stopped eating like 9 p.m. of today and then I won't eat until 6 p.m. of the next day. So some people call it 6 to 6, but like, yeah, I literally used to fast for over over 18 hours. Yeah, I was fasting for like over 18 hours. And um, honestly, like this was the most stress-free, easy fast that I've ever done in my life. It was so good. It was so easy. Like I wasn't getting hungry or anything and at the, at the same time i don't know if it, i don't know if this thing is advisable or what but then i was working out i was going to the gym because i think those two together just made me lose weight 
of course now I've stopped fasting it ended like two weeks ago but then I just turned that to intermittent fasting it's not as intense as that one was the thing that I was fasting like to give my prayer request to God and then one of my prayer requests was answered was like uh huh yeah but then yeah I'm still on my weight loss journey and yeah weight loss and maintenance I don't want to lose too much I just want to lose some and maintain some January was like my worst month to be honest I thank God for it but it was like a very bad month for me I got scammed twice the first time I got scammed, it wasn't a lot of money. It wasn't a lot of money, honestly. And I feel like that scam was just like part of my stupidity because I knew that that was a scam, but I don't even know how I fell into it. The second one, I honestly didn't know. And it was just something bad that happened to me. Um, I got scammed of a huge amount of money. Oh, God literally like doubled, tripled that for me. It was very sad. Like, I was very, very sad. I was always crying because it was just like... You know when you lose money that you worked for, mm, it's very very painful. So yeah, I was very very sad. And I was like, what's happening this new year? Like, what's everything happening? Why is everything bad happening to me? Cause how it was on this day, I went to the market and I had some money in my pocket and pickpocket took it out. It wasn't a lot of money. It was like ten k. Pickpocket took it out of my pocket. Like it was very annoying. I was like, what's the meaning of this? Like this is just annoying. And then the next day, I got scammed. I cried. I was like, "What's this now? Why are all these things? Why are all these things happening to me?" And then the next day, I got, I got no. And then the next day, I heard that my stuff that were coming from China got missing. And then the next day, I got scammed of a huge amount of money. So just imagine all these things happening to me, like this, then this, then this, then this. Like I just used to cry. I was always sad. I had sleepless nights. I'll be sleeping and I'll wake up. I really suffer from anxiety on a normal day. So imagine somebody that suffers from anxiety going through this thing. So it was a lot for me. It was a lot. It was sad. And yeah, I don't wish that on anybody. But then I'm okay now. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm popping. It is very sad when you know you work for something or you work for, yeah, when you work for something and then it's almost like somebody takes it out of you. Let me tell you guys something like before I didn't have an opinion on scammers I was just like these people are doing it God to judge them on that day But then after this thing happened to me, I was like it could have been worse Like my mom kept saying like don't worry nobody's life was taken. It was just money. You're going to get it back Like I've heard people that get scammed of millions not million millions of naira billions so imagine like that was it i'm like thank god mine wasn't that bad my case wasn't as bad as that it was just like yeah and yeah so that was why january was if you guys noticed i was barely posting because i was sad most of the time and it was just hard Januarys are always like so bad for me to be honest but my last year january was terrible um yeah my, my last year january was terrible it wasn't it wasn't good it was bad <laughs> yeah so it's almost like my january's keep being like that but i don't want to and sometimes i feel like it's because of the mindset i have that january's are always bad that i kind of attract it for myself but like at the same time i don't know at least thank god january is over so yeah that's what has been up with me yeah, sorry I had to switch my battery. This one too is low, so I just want to round up this video. So regarding my stuff that got lost, I got refunded for everything that they lost. So I got all my money back and I was able to like reorder again. I thank God for that. So that even delayed my Kyola Beauty restock, guys. It delayed my restock. I was even supposed to restock yesterday, but my stuff got delayed again because like Chinese are having their annual Chinese New Year. I think it's today that is the New Year, so... I'm telling you guys, so for my goals for 2021, I want to grow my businesses, I want to start more businesses, that's like my number one goal, I want to keep growing my relationship with God, um, I want to grow my YouTube channel too, <laughs> YouTube sometimes now is like feeling like a secondary job, honestly, but I don't want to make it to seem like that, I want it because YouTube is what literally like started everything that I do, everything I know. For me it always somehow links back to YouTube so I want to take YouTube very seriously more seriously this year and yeah these are like my main goals I have of course I have like some other personal goals that I want to achieve and all of that yeah <laughs> 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed talking with me and getting a live update. I don't know if I spoke about everything, but I think I spoke about everything in my notes. I couldn't answer all your questions from the Q&A, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, everybody, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. You're the opposite of me Like sun and rain And drama on the TV Is full of pain But we're the good part, the happy ending Unexpected plot twist, we always save me We're the good part, we never fake it Even if it hurts, we always say it Ah, la, 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 la Ra, 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 ra,